Mike Pence's former chief of staff, Mark Short, was just on CNN and was asked to respond to Matt Gaetz's speech at a Republican fascist youth rally in Tampa where Gates said Pence would never be president. Mark Short did not hold back. You gotta see this clip. Our America is proudly ultra MAGA, not some low energy roadside rhino safari. On that note, let me just say what everybody here knows. Mike Pence will never be president. <laughs> nice guy, not a leader. Mark? Well, I don't know if Mike Pence will run for president in 2024, but I don't think Matt Gates will have an impact on that. In fact, I'd be surprised if he was still voting. It's more likely he'll be in prison for child sex trafficking by 2024. And I'm actually surprised that Florida law enforcement still allows him to speak to teenage conferences like that. So I'm not too worried about Matt Gates. thanks. Well, all I gotta say is... Damn! Mark Short is right. Why is Florida law enforcement allowing Matt Gates, who's currently under investigation for sex trafficking and raping a child, speak at a youth event? Sadly, it's Matt Gates and not Mike Pence who defines what it means to be a Republican today. But it's people like Mike Pence and Mark Short who bent a knee to Trump and ignored the conduct. No, they in fact enabled the conduct of Matt Gates, of Marjorie Taylor Greene, of Lauren Boebert, and allowed the Republican Party to become the anti-democracy, anti-American, fascist party. I appreciate Mark Short saying this on CNN, but where was he when it mattered? And where will he be when it matters in the future? I suspect when this interview with CNN is over, Mark Short will call Mike Pence and they'll high five each other for the 40 seconds of courage that Mark Short displayed and then they'll go back to spreading the same old lies about the Democrats. This is an existential threat to our democracy with domestic enemies and terrorists like Trump and Matt Gates and what they call an ultra MAGA orange mafia. This isn't a movie like Idiocracy, although it feels like one. This is real life. And this is your life. The life of your family, your friends, and your colleagues is on the line. This is life or death. And I hope Mark Short's 40 second takedown of Gates is not short lived and that same passion is turned toward protecting our democracy. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe right now to the Midas Touch YouTube channel and click that bell to turn on notifications so you never miss a video.